Hey everybody, the lens caps arrived and I'm ready to start working on everything. So uh, this is what they look like before I do any drilling. And we're going to be working on just this top piece. I, con I consider this the bottom piece. It's a little bit thicker. The top piece has a very thin surface. And since we need to uh, locate the holes to be drilled with a center punch, it really needs to be supported with something from behind before you go hammering onto it. So that's what this setup's for, uh, just a piece of wood. But we're gonna be lining everything up and then doing one at a time. First with a very fine point and then with more of a standard angle. That's a, to, ma to match the uh, profile of the drill bit. This has a much finer point and that just helps me locate exactly on my pattern where to get started. You'd be surprised how, how hard it can be to, to locate a uh, center punch. Okay, so we'll get this stuff out of the way. And um, what I did was laid out the design in AutoCAD and printed it out at the right scale. And then I take scissors and cut these out so that they fit nicely. And I tape them temporarily to the lids. And that'll help me locate everything. Okay, well I have lots of these to do today, but we're just going to go through one of these. Uh, like I said, first we're going to use the pointy bit, the pointy punch, yeah, the pointy punch, and then the, uh, the more standard punch. And I will speed this part up for you. Okay, now that the initial punch is done, we can come back, get rid of this little pattern. If you can see in the reflection here, we have a little tiny dents. Now I'm going to go back with the uh, larger punch and hit these all a second time. Okay, well now I just need to repeat that many, many more times and then we're ready to go to the drill press. I don't know if you can see the minor dents on the inside there, you can tell how thin the material is. But, uh, yep, ready to move on. Hey everybody, we're going to do some drilling here. Um, I'm just going to show you one piece. I have a bunch of pieces to do for this first batch, but, uh, and what I would normally do is put one drill bit in and do all the pieces and then because I have to drill a pilot hole and then a larger hole and then a larger hole and then a larger hole and such. Um, so I would normally put a small drill bit in, run through the whole batch, put the next size in, run through the whole batch. But for filming, we're going to finish off one and I'll do the rest later. So let's get her all set up here. Start with a very small drill bit.
so I've got the first pilot holes run through everything. Now we're going to change out the bit and go a little bit larger. the second pilot hole and the next pass will be the last pass. So we'll change out the drill bit here. And I believe we're gonna have to lift the table up. We don't need to have this we don't need to have this thing going on here anymore. Now we the larger diameter holes. Here. That's about right. Okay, final drill for the small hole diameters. to do is to drill out the middle hole with its final diameter so we're going to do another slightly larger hole and probably then the final diameter hole. Okay so the first thing we'll do is change the drill bit out. I'm going to do this gradually. It's been a while. I haven't made a lot of these yet so I want to make sure I drill this hole gradually and not tear it up and get it off center. Once I get things going here and have a better feel for it, I may be able to use a few less steps in my step drilling. But for, for right now, I'm going to take little bites at a time and hopefully not screw anything up. Here we go. the final hole diameter. Let's check it against an existing piece. Yes, it is. It's close. sink bit out and uh, clean up the ed edges inside and out. Let's just go ahead and change that right now.
there we have it. All I need to do now is just make sure everything doesn't rub, make sure the switch is fit and uh, should be just fine. So um, that's it for this stage of the process. Hey everybody, it's time to paint. So I uh, spared you the agony of watching me prep all of these switches. And uh, we're just gonna demonstrate the painting process. And I'm gonna speed up the majority of it. I just wanted you to see what goes into it. So here we go. That's it for the painting. Now we, uh, we let that dry overnight. And uh, once they're ready, we can pack everything up. And that will be sort of a final quality check when that happens. And uh, I guess that will be the last step. Okay, everything's all together now. Um, this is just the final packaging. All the medium ones, all the medium buttons are going to come pre-loaded, and uh, the soft and hard, soft and hard will be on the bottom. We'll just go ahead and do that right now. Empty. Well, there'll be extras. These are my buttons. While the other one's dry, the paint's dry, and I'm using these as a prop. But uh, you'll have uh, two extra small buttons and one extra large button each level of uh, pressure but uh, we'll put that in first put that in and then put that in put the foam back so all your buttons are on the bottom and uh, this is your certificate of authenticity which I will sign Today's date is the 16th. And we'll just fold that little puppy up. And that will go into the top like this. And the coin will go right here. If you have uh, option two with an extra body or option three with three bodies, they'll be in here too. Buttons will be underneath and those two bodies will not have the buttons in them, just to save space up here. But uh, this is what option one looks like. That will go in an envelope and be shipped to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.